bro, Daniel coming in, like, coming in clutch, try to, like, you know, try to, <laughs> try to, like, you know what I'm saying, try to remember some, like, some moves real quick, you know what I'm saying, move that basically Zach taught him a little bit, you know what I'm saying, bro, and basically just punch the knife, bro, keep in mind, this is OG Daniel, fat, you know what I'm saying, no training involved, this man actually punched that knife literally out of this man's hands, bro, like, bro, squeeze! And today, we are back again with more Lucas up. Yes, indeedy. Now, uh, bro, we've covered a lot of Lucas up when it came down to pedos and a whole lot of other <laughs> whole lot of crazy dudes that just want to go and get them. <laughs> okay, and even women too. Like, we're not we're not gonna talk about that shit. We're not talking about the crazy shit anymore. <laughs> we're gonna be talking about my man Daniel also being a freaking chat stepping off for of his wife, bro. His girl Zoe. Now again, we already covered Zach and protected his wife who against a freaking crazy ass boy like him. Uh, dude, that was like freaking like do like judo, taijutsu, or something like that. And then we also, obviously, from the second part of Logazum with the whole four major crew saga, my man Warren, he not only A, expressed himself to Sally, but also he protect his girl as well. That's not, not only that. But now, in part one, another situation happened where another waifu was about to get her yams tucketh. And my man Daniel had to come through. He had to be best. He got. He had to protect his wife with his life, bro. So this actually, this is some actual some some context. Let me give you some little bit of context, okay? So basically, during the events of part one, uh, during this whole situation, Zoe was actually a crazy streamer. You know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, in today's society, we all freaking know about you know the female streamers, okay? Female streamers getting. A lot of attention, a lot of, you know what I'm saying, crazy simps, okay, simps, be donating a whole bunch of donos, whole bunch of crazy amount of money, like, it's absolutely freaking insane, but we have some dudes that take this a step above and beyond, and just be stocking these, some of these streamer girls, bro, some, sometimes, you know what I'm saying, it, it, it's wild, crazy, it's insane to an unfathomable degree, okay? And obviously, being this is, you know, being looking some, it brought this type of content here in, 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 in part one, okay? So, obviously, Zoe, obviously, you know, streamer, you know what I'm saying? She was actually popping off. She was popping off, you know what I'm saying? She was popping off a little bit. And, well... She got, she got found out by some, some crazy... Crazy man, bro. Some crazy old man that wanted to, like, you know what I'm saying, go, in them, go crazy in them guts, you feel me? Want some of those only milkies. So, of course, she was going to get caught in four freaking K. She was about to get hit up by a freaking crazy stalker, boy. And he, like, you know what I'm saying, he was about to go crazy. He was about to go heck of left, bro. Heck of left. On God, all this pretty much popped off when my man Daniel, obviously, he pop, you know, he, he going good, you know what I'm saying, doing his little convenience store job right now, and obviously he recognized this dude, you know what I'm saying. He, you know, he's basically like you know an ongoing customer. He he always buys whiskey every single day, you know what I'm saying, blase blase. And my man realizes that my man is staring at his phone, mad heavy, right. So he's wondering what the heck is he watching and realizes that it's Zoe. He's watching Zoe's little broadcast and stuff like that. But, bro, as soon as he looks up, bro, this man is looking at Daniel. What the f Like, you want to kill this man. You want to murk him. Bro, like, straight up, like, Daniel got kind of 4K, bro. And my man's, like, looking at him like, but what you looking at, my boy? <laughs> like, God, Jesus. And my man, and my, obviously business as usual, they buy, you know, obviously the whiskey and stuff like that. But my man Daniel also peeps like, what the heck? <laughs> peeps at something else so unusual that this man bought, for real, for real, right? So fast forward a little bit, Zoe out here, basically like, you know what I'm saying? About to throw out the trash and stuff like that on the phone with, you know, some, some of her little girlfriends, you know what I'm saying? Blase, blase, right? 
And basically, she don't drop the trash. I'm about to about to go back home, but the dude, <laughs> dude, about to come through. Literally, it's a literally a dark, dark night with only a, a street light lamp. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And my man's asking for directions, bro. She like, oh, what the heck, bro? She she already peeping, already reading the room a little bit. She's like, nah, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I I I, I don't know. I don't know what you what you asking me for. You know what I'm saying? Blase blase. My man Daniel coming in with the swiftness and tells my girl Zoe run, run to the hills, bro. And my man and my girl Zoe, she's like, wait, Piggy, what are you talking about? And my man Daniel's like, bro, bro, you need to get the heck out of here, bro. You need to leave immediately. That man bought a knife. <laughs> he bought a knife at the convenience store, bro. This man, without without no hesitation, just immediately comes in, bro. Comes in about to stab this man with the freaking knife, man. Bro, Daniel coming in, like, coming in clutch, trying to, like, you know, try to... <laughs> Try to like, you know what I'm saying? Try to remember some like some moves real quick. You know what I'm saying? Move that basically Zach taught him a little bit. You know what I'm saying, bro? And basically just punch the knife. Bro, keep in mind, this is OG Daniel. Fat, you know what I'm saying? No training involved. This man actually punched that knife literally out of this man's hands, bro. Like, bro, <laughs> that was freaking impressive. And my man is actually about ready to go in with a swift hook. But obviously this man missed because... My man got no reach. My man Daniel got no reach, no whatsoever. And my man, he's just, just about to like, you know what I'm saying? Dog, like, you know what I'm saying? Just wail on this man. He's like, stay away from you. You're nobody. So he's all mine. All this other crazy shit, bro. And my man Daniel, like, he's trying to cover Zoe. He's like, yo, Zoe, get, get the cover, bro. And, bro, my man is just stomping this man Daniel out, bro. Like, my man's out here trying to protect my... You know what I'm saying? And Zoe, while throughout this entire situation, she looking at my man Daniel in a new light because, you know what I'm saying? Like, she always thought, you know, obviously, OG Daniel was like, you know, loser, blase, blase. But now, now she looking at this man like, you know what I'm saying? You looking a little bitch. Hey, you looking a little like a chick. And my man picks, so the stalker dude picks up the knife and he about ready to basically stab this man. But... A dumbbell. Someone threw a dang dumbbell. And who is dumb enough to throw a freaking dumbbell at this man? And it's none other than my man Bosco to Tabasco, bro. He coming in for the same. He's like, bro, like, you hands in the air, my boy. I already saw everything. You better get ready to put your dukes up. Put your dukes up, my boy. Man, man coming out. Cameron and Bosco with a knife just slinging and slashing this man. But this man Bosco literally just grabs that bitch, chokes the, chokes this man. And my man Bosco's like, no knives, no knives, sir. And my man's like, yo, man, let me down, sir, please. Literally squeeze the knife literally out of him. And my man Bosco's like, brace yourself, my boy. And out of nowhere, before my man is about to land a clean punch, bro, the freak, the dude's father bro with this man is crawling with no legs bruh this this freaking stalker dude's literal father with no freaking legs this man has no legs crawling he's like yo i beg you please he's my only son have mercy on him like it's absolutely freaking crazy bro this man is just basically just dissing his dad like bro your dad is in a worse predicament why are you dissing him like, it is just a literal crazy situation. It's absolutely fucked up, but effed up, honestly. But in all honesty, Daniel pretty much, like, sees a resemblance to this dude because, obviously, he kind of, like, acted a certain way with his mom during way back when, bro. Like, it's crazy. But my man Vasco, he basically just like, bro, I'm going to need you to be clear. Don't blame your stuff. Don't blame what your, your predicament on others, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever even thought about making a difference on your old well-being, bro? Bro, my, and my man Bosco's is talking heavy to this man, bro. And my man Bosco's like, <laughs> like I overcame all trials and tribulations. And hey, 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 
Vasco speaking true facts. If you guys have like, if you guys have read his backstory, bro, my man has overcame a lot of freaking troubles and you know problems and stuff like that, bro. And this old, and this freaking old old ass man is like, yo, please forgive my son, my son. And bro, look at this, look at this. Dude. What the, f the police is like some freaking dog. Like, what the, what type of face? What type of face, bro? My man Vasco's like, hey, you right, OG Daniel? <laughs> you right, my boy? You did a good job right there. Zoe, he, she giving my man Daniel a whole ass hug, crying like, are you hurt? Are you okay, Piggy? Like, bro, <laughs> it's absolutely insane, man. But anyways, bro, long story short, <laughs> Zoe stops broadcasting. Obviously starts looking, you know, so it's getting a little crush on my boy. You know what I'm saying? OG Daniel, you feel me? Uh, and all this other stuff. Like that, like, man, bro, don't get me wrong. Part one, look at some, has some moments, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's probably like, again, a lot of people love, a lot of like the OG fans love part one of look at some. And part two, obviously, they ramped that up. And obviously, uh, and pretty much me and Slim, if you, you know what I'm saying, my boy, we both all said that, you know, part two was peak. But there's some parts in part one, man, that is just wholesome. Just down to earth. And obviously, again, like I said, it's one of the reasons why I kind of like fell in love with Lucasfilm in the first place. Is because it basically literally paints society of how, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the realism, honestly. Honestly, Lucasfilm should just call itself realism at this point because, bro, it, it just shows the realism behind everything. Not just looks that, that matter and all, of it, all that stuff, but also just the real stuff that happens. Like, you know what I'm saying? What female streamers the, even though obviously they have like a no matter what people could pretty much say there is like some dark truth behind the all of that you know what i'm saying like you know female streamers sometimes go through that shit on a day-to-day -day basis it's i mean it happens but all in all that's that's pretty much it for you know what i'm saying this video so hope you guys enjoyed if you did like this video comment down below Share this video across social media if you can and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, this is Plus Like Sign, guys. Always thank us so much for watching. Peace!